Hi all, welcome back. In this video we will see how to run our uh, Cypress tests in um, uh, GitLab CI okay, and uh, how we can record uh, uh, those uh, Cypress tests that are executed in GitLab CI uh, in uh, uh, Cypress Cloud also. Okay, So to run our tests in um, uh, GitLab uh, CI uh, in our project root folder uh, we need to create um, uh, one file with name dot gitlab hyphen ci dot um, yml file so the moment you name it like dot um, gitlab ci uh, gitlab hyphen ci dot yml you can see the gitlab icon is appeared here okay so uh, to get this um, uh, content uh, okay uh, we will go to our Cypress uh, website uh, there um, if you navigate to the docs and then if you navigate to continuous integration there we are having um, a GitLab uh, a CI continuous integration and uh, at this time we are going to use um, a docker image uh, to run uh, our Cypress tests uh, in uh, uh, GitLab so I am copying this code uh, here instead of writing manually uh, and um, I'm pasting here okay so this command we need it here uh, uh, this is used to uh, install all the dependencies but we are not running any server and everything so uh, we can remove this command and uh, instead of this command uh, we are going to run our own command um, uh, which will log uh, our tests in um, uh, Cypress cloud also so for that in package.yml uh, we have already uh, we have already defined one command um, uh, cy colon cloud okay so we will run that command instead of uh, uh, the default command so npm run cy colon cloud this is the command that we are going to run uh, to run uh, to record our tests also okay uh, to record our tests parallelly so in my previous video we have seen how we can run parallel tests in um, uh, github actions also uh, here we will see how we can run uh, this this tests in uh, github uh, uh, gitlab ci also so to run this test parallelly we need to provide uh, the number how many uh, uh, how, how how many number it should uh, distribute so for that we need to use uh, parallel and then we need to uh, define a number say suppose 5 okay we need to uh, divide into 5 distributions and after that in the package.js also uh, json also along with the record we need to specify hyphen hyphen parallel uh, uh, tag here okay so in cy.cloud we need to define this also okay in, so we need to uh, make these two changes um, to run our uh, to run our tests in um, uh, gitlab okay but uh, now if you see uh, i am connecting to git uh, hub here okay first i am going to commit to git uh, hub and i will transfer this data uh, the code to a uh, gitlab because i am not directly committing to a uh, gitlab here so i am adding gitlab <coughs> gitlab yaml and i am committing the code once i commit i need to sync the changes okay the changes are synced now now i'm navigating to my gitlab so there uh, uh, sorry you have already uh, the gitlab actions is already there so uh, you can see the moment i commit uh, uh, in github actions it is already uh, started execution and now we need to uh, 
transfer this project this code to uh, git gitlab uh, okay so i have already a gitlab account uh, so uh, if you don't have it uh, you can create a gitlab account and you can see here so after uh, navigate after completion of signing then you will see uh, there uh, uh, create a new project so once you start a new project so there are two options uh, either you can import the project from uh, github if you see import project there is an option you will get um, uh, import from uh, gitlab uh, sorry github or uh, there is an option directly you can run a ci cd from external repository okay uh, so this time i am going uh, with the, this option okay import uh, run ci cd for external repository okay so here it is asking for um, git repository github so git repository url and um, i am going to take the git repository url here and uh, to run to run this uh, uh, to create or import that project directly uh, or to run this ci cd this project must be uh, publicly available otherwise um, uh, you need to provide uh, your username and a password for uh, your uh, a github account okay and after that um, uh, this default names i am leaving as it is and then so i am going to run it in uh, yeah some place uh, you can select anything uh, whatever is available and i am uh, keeping this as a private only so i am creating a project here see once you created project uh, the whatever we have created in gitlab um, github so everything is automatically uh, imported to uh, gitlab project so after importing here uh, if you go to build there is a pipeline section if you expand build there is a pipelines and um, uh, jobs section here okay so if you go to the pipelines uh, there you can see uh, there is an option uh, uh, called run pipeline because if you see our repository already contain um, uh, .gitlab hyphen cy dot ml uh, so it will automatically recognize the changes okay so if you go to the pipelines there and if you uh, click on run pipeline so now it is asking if there are any um, uh, variables that we need to define so we no need to define any variables here so we can directly click on run pipeline so if if you are uh, providing your uh, Uh, secret uh, the, um, the key uh, in uh, secrets then you need to define uh, those variables here okay so if you see it, it it's created five we have given um, uh, five uh, parallel for parallel execution we have given uh, number five right so it is created five instances uh, uh, to run the tests okay so if you navigate to one of them and you can see all of them are listed here and it is started initializing may take some time because um, uh, it needs to uh, download this uh, cypress image It started execution. So it find the command it needs to uh, run this command cy run parallel uh, record parallel and everything. So it started execution if you see. See the the, the moment it started uh, out of 25 uh, the first alignment was 3 out of 25 so the first one and second one went to uh, some other uh, instances so if you go to other thing it is at to start so basically it will distribute among all the uh, five instances
yeah uh, so uh, it started executed it started executing uh, so in the meantime you can see in our cypress cloud uh, whether this is uh, being recorded or not See, it's uh, from GitLab, uh, so the GitHub actions also running uh, uh, the moment that we have committed uh, the Git uh, to GitHub. Uh, so the GitHub actions also started here. So that's why uh, uh, it was executed one time. Uh, it is from um, uh, GitHub actions, and everything got completed here. And you can see the timing also there. It says uh, uh, six minutes. Uh, six minutes ago. Okay, so uh, now uh, this is started for GitLab. You can see uh, here also uh, it is highlighting. It is from GitHub Actions. Now it is started with um, uh, GitLab. Okay, and yeah, it is executing uh, as usual. So from my previous tests also, you can see that uh, this test is failing uh, uh, every time. So, yeah, let's see if we can comment and rerun this test again to see the success of green build at least. Yeah, you can see all the tests are completed here. Um, I took uh, two, uh, 2 minutes 49 seconds uh, from GitLab. Uh, here also it shows... Uh, uh, everything okay so now this time what I am going to do is I am I am going to skip uh, the children uh, the children nodes uh, test Okay, and let's commit the change and see. So the moment I commit the change, uh, need to see the pipeline. So the pipeline uh, gets started automatically. So updated children nodes. And uh, yeah. It is taking time again. It is initializing uh, the Docker image. It started execution. Now let's go to our Cypress cloud. And if you go to the latest run, there you can see it started um, update uh, children node.cy. And in the meantime, you can see that uh, we have given it as a parallelization. So for the previous ones, it is showing as a zero percent. Okay, and if you see here, it is a sixty-two percent, sixty-four percent here, and it is here fifty percent. So with parallel run, um, we can execute the scripts very uh, fast. It saves a lot of time. Four nodes are completed here. So one more node is pending, one more instance here. all five are completed so in this time all five are uh, uh, green and if you go to cypress test cypress cloud here it is about to complete um, yeah now this time it is uh, completed successfully 
and you can see that um, a green tick mark okay and it shows here uh, one one view pending testing because we have uh, skipped this test and out of the 51 are passed so there are no failures so that's why uh, it is uh, green okay so in this way uh, we can execute uh, uh, your tests in uh, gitlab uh, ci thank you